Hey guys, how's it going? Tea Leaf Nika here. Today I figured I would do an updated what's in my purse. I did one of these a long time ago and a lot of people were really interested in it and I figured I should probably update it because I definitely carry a lot less than I used to. This is still gonna be a tactical everyday carry sort of purse video. The last time I did this video, someone got really upset in the comments that I didn't include a gun in the video because according to them, everyday carry meant like conceal carry, but I don't carry a gun in my purse. So therefore it's not gonna be part of this haul. This is gonna be a everyday carry, tactical slash non-tactical purse video. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. I mainly wanted to shoot this video so I can show this off. I got this from Bath and Body Works for the fall season. It's a pumpkin spice latte hand sanitizer. Very perfect for the times. First thing here is my sunglasses. These are the Eagle Eye Memory Flex Aviators. I love these so much. They're so lightweight. You can barely feel them on your face. Very good quality sunglasses. I literally don't put this in a case. I should put it in a case, but I don't and it's pretty durable considering how thin and flimsy it is. Next I have my AirPods. Nothing special about that. I don't understand why people put a case on top of a case. It doesn't make any sense to me. I have two pens. This one's a space pen so you could write in any direction. I won this from a hackathon like five years ago and it still works very well. The reason why I have two pens is that this one acts as a window breaker. There's a little window breaker on this tip. And on this tip, here's an extra pen. So this isn't the primary pen that I use. The reason why I carry a window breaker is because I've seen too many videos of people trapped in cars, whether it be due to accidents, maybe a kid or a pet is stuck in a car, maybe a car is sinking in the river. <laughs> You never know when you need a window breaker. You know, in a very urban environment, this seems like a pretty useful thing to have, so I have that. This is my most used tool. This is insect forceps. The reason why I have insect forceps is because I work as a honeybee biologist, okay? There are so many bees in the area where I live. Every time I see bees inside, I literally like take it and put it outside with these forceps. The reason why I do this is because people can be allergic to bee stings or wasp stings. So if I could be the one to remove that threat from the situation, then I'll do it. I've done this so many times. I literally did it at a bookstore yesterday. <laughs> Next, I have an all weather notebook. I don't really use this too much because I just write notes on my phone. I mainly take these on runs actually. Like when I want to just kind of solve a problem in my head as I'm running, I take a pen and a notebook and I'm literally like running with it because this doesn't get messed up by my sweat so like if I come up with an idea I just write it. Of course I have my gold Starbucks cup holder. <laughs> I feel very elite owning this. <laughs> they don't sell these anymore. Whenever I go to Starbucks they, they go to put the cardboard one on and I'm like it's okay I have my own. <laughs> Next I have a Benchmade knife. Uh, I need to sharpen this knife but you know knife's very useful. I don't carry the heavy duty one that you saw in the last video. I just use this Benchmade okay gets the job done. This is also a very useful tool. It's a flashlight. I highly suggest investing in a good flashlight. I use this all the time when I walk my dog at night. You can use it to see in the dark or you could also use it to like disarm someone. So it's very useful in everyday life and in emergency situations. Also very heavy if you had to like really nail someone with this you could. <laughs> Next of course pepper spray. I think having long range weapons on you is really important when you want to keep your distance but also keep yourself safe. This is really useful in dog attacks too. There's so many instances where people think that they could just walk their dogs with no leash and then Mr. Fluffy goes and attacks another dog. I don't condone animal abuse or, or hurting animals, but we I also feel like we can't be ignorant to emergency situations. Yes, dogs are our best friends, but they can also be a big threat along with other big animals. So we don't wanna be ignorant of that. Next, I have my keys. Some tactical things on my keys is a whistle. You never know. Never know when you need a whistle. And of course, I also have my mini Leatherman style CS. I love this one, like I said before, because it has scissors, okay? I never use pliers in my life. I always need scissors. So this has scissors, it has tweezers, a knife, screwdriver, a bottle opener. Very good mini Leatherman for your keys. And just like before, I still have the same wallet. I like a wallet that zips on all sides. I've noticed that the ones that are this shape open up and I don't like that. So I like the fact that this one can zip completely shut and also has a little thing here so I could secure it in my bag. I don't know where you could get it because I got this a long time ago, but I'll see if I can find a substitute or something close to it. I have this pack here. This is probably a lot of like toiletries and stuff. This is Advil and pre-cold medications, lip balm, hair scrunchie, tampons, hand lotion. I go through so much of these in the winter. Lastly, of course, in this pocket, I've got 
masks. <laughs> you never know when you need masks. And you know, if an establishment requires masks, I'm gonna respect it instead of making a scene like an idiot. I also have a first aid kit. I got this from a camping store, really useful. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Like I said, I'll try to have everything listed down below or anything that's very close to it so you guys could start being a little tactical in your purses as well. Uh, remember, if you enjoyed this video, to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.